What's going on? It's Al B. As you can see, we back in the Vibe Lab with another episode of Vibe Lab on Air. Today, man, we got somebody big in the building. You know what I'm saying? It's his first time in the building, but, you know, when he walked in, I felt nothing but good vibes. You know, he was he was definitely one of those guys. He had a, you know, he has a calm demeanor. You know what I'm saying? It looks like he he takes care of himself. You know what I'm saying? He's he's uh he, he got his beard shaped up. You know, you it say. ain't as big as mine. I'm trying to get there. You I'm know what I'm saying? There. But yeah, my boy, my boy got the got the you know he got them vibes for show. Sure. I want to welcome welcome Tay Swag. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. It is definitely a pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I know you hit me up on the ground, man, wanting to, you know, do an interview, man. And I was like, bet, yeah, let's get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure, bro. So I want to open up the the, uh, the the questions with uh, where you from, bro? So I was born in Fort Pierce, Florida. So originally from Florida, but moved to Dallas at 10. So oh, okay. I've been in Dallas ever since. Okay, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah, so Dallas, like what part, you know? Uh, when I first moved here, I moved to Whitehurst. Okay. So I stayed on Whitehurst at Snore Palms, if you know where, where that's at. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure somebody, <laughs> somebody might. Somebody, somebody might like, like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's that north side stuff. Uh, okay, okay. So it's like North Dallas. Mm -hmm. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Okay, yeah. So you pretty much grew up in Dallas then, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I moved around a lot, though. Moved around a lot. Yeah. But for the most part, I've been in Dallas. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, so 10 and up, you in Dallas, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So at what age were you when you decided that you wanted to create music? Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was it something specific that happened or, like, what happened? Like, were you just uh, like, you know what? Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper dropped Acid Rap. Oh. And, man. <laughs> that was, I can say that was my first album that I actually dove into. And it was yeah. like, man, I'm feeling this. Yeah, I'm listening, listening to every single song. Check, 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 check. It was like, you know what? I'm inspired. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm inspired. So I just started, you know, jotting down my own little, you know, four bar rhymes. Yeah. And six bar rhymes. And okay. it just kept going from there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Chance the Rapper is a dope artist, bro. You know, I feel like Chance the Rapper is definitely one of those artists that it, it, it kind of feels it kind of feels like, uh, you know, before him, it was like you had to fit a certain mold to be a rapper. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you either had to be a gangster rapper or you had to be, like you know Christian what I'm saying? Rapper, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Weird like, rapper. Exactly. You had to fit a mold, but mm. I say... I say him and Kanye, you know, you, you was really able to just kind of be yourself and yeah. like make music. So Definitely. yeah. Definitely. So yeah. Shout out, shout out to shout out to Shout out Chano. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Uh has anybody anybody in your mu in your family make music or is it just <clears throat> Yes, sir. So okay. I actually come from a very musically inclined family. Um my okay. father, Skyline Productions, he's out in Atlanta. Okay. Uh he he produces, makes music. Okay. My mother sings. My little brother, you know, he's a he does production, podcasts, and stuff. Okay. Um, grandfather plays piano. Oh yeah, a lot of oh, people. Yeah. Lot of people. Okay, so yeah, of, so, so it was, was so kind of destined. Yeah, it was, okay. It was just a matter of time before I was like, you know, what? it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay, to step up. so okay, yeah. So all y'all musically inclined, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's dope, bro. I love to hear that. That's that's dope. That's dope. All right, so. Um, you you said that early on, you know, you started writing rhymes and you you know writing rhymes down to four bar, six bar. Like, what's your creative process? Like, how does that work exactly? Like, um, you know? so it just honestly depends on how fast I need it. Okay. So you know, when I'm working on my own songs, I like to take my time. You know, hear the beat. Well, yeah. I'm in the process now of making my own beats. You know, learning how to engineer okay. and stuff. Yeah. So. Before it was, you know, YouTube. I find some YouTube or meet some, you know, producers, get some, get their beats and just kind of listen to it, vibe yeah. to it for you know a couple of days. Yeah, I'll listen to a beat, you know, just actually vibe to a beat because I'm more of like an experienced rapper. Like I rap off my mm. experiences. Mm, okay. So like I'll listen like to the beat for days, yeah. weeks, months. Yeah, well, long you need to before get it's that. like, oh, yeah. that's what's supposed to be on this song. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, that's dope, bro. Uh, so you kind of get a beat and you just kind of live life a little bit and get some inspiration and put, okay, yeah, that's dope, bro. That's dope. So, well, I know you say you're a life rapper, so 
what's like your biggest inspiration to like make music like to mm, just my trials and tribulations just mm. to show uh not only you know my friends and my family definitely my little brothers mm-hmm. to show them you know be a light and inspiration you know do what you want to do like yeah yeah follow your dreams bro mm-hmm. you know i think that 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 takes a lot of it take first of all you have to be very brave to follow your dreams right because i feel like in the world everybody is just kind of scared to following to, the line yeah they scared to do their own thing because they scared to fail but that's yeah, it's that's, part of it that's it's that's part, that's part of, it. of it bro and, and you know depending on you know your life and your circumstances some people go fail a lot some yeah. people some people go through more and yeah i've definitely been one of those people who can say man i've i've been through some things that's like bro yeah. like, and, and that's the thing bro like you gotta you got to fall down 12, get up 13, bro. Exactly. As long you, as you keep getting up. Yeah. Rocky just, Bad Boy said the best. Yeah, you got to keep going. You got to. How hard? Life is going to hit you very hard. Exactly. It's not about how hard you get hit. It's <laughs> about getting back <laughs> exactly. up. Exactly. Getting back up, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, And that's one thing about learning, too, is you ain't going to be, you, you ain't going to start playing basketball being MJ. Like. Mm-hmm. Right? You're gonna have to build up. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna exactly. have to you have to practice, fail, practice, fail, practice, fail until you get it right. That's exactly. And my my apologies. I think with that being said as well, <clears throat> realizing yourself, you know, mm. not only, you know, wanting to stick out, once you stick out, stick to it. You know, you yeah. can't be like, Oh, I'm, you know, doing my own thing. Then you realize like, oh, you see other people who are also, you know, doing their own thing. You gotta respect the game, yeah. but also respect yourself and be like, you know what? I am doing my thing. That's kind of also my message. Like, you know, do what you want to do, but don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be uh, deterred or, yeah. you know, pulled in different directions because you see what other people are doing. Like, yeah, bro. Do your own thing. Do your own thing, bro. Stay in your lane. Mm-hmm. Stay in your lane. Mm-hmm. I think that's one thing that I learned when I was going to school was that uh, I had a professor tell me that, you know, when you graduate and, you know, you look up and you look around like everybody is ahead of you and you like dang you know you can get discouraged by that you know but one thing he told us is that you know look down don't look mm-hmm. up when you when you're going for something look down practice your craft work on your craft practice your craft work on your craft he said if you want periodically you can look up to see where you at inspiration but, yeah inspiration, you can look motivation. up to see where you at but if you do look up to see where you at don't just stay looking up yeah. Like, look up, okay, bet. Look down, get back to your Especially crowd. nowadays. Exactly, Social media, bro. man. You're going to see everybody. It's all out there. It's not like, you know, oh, I just see the dudes from my neighborhood or, you know, from around town. It's like, man, I'm, I see everybody. So it's like, damn, you know, it's yeah, real bro. easy to be like, fuck, I yeah, got to do bro. this. I got to do that. <laughs> I got to, man, I'm not, I got to come like this. So it's like, bro. nah, bro, just do you in the right ears and the right people are going to hear it and it's going to connect exactly. and boom, there you go. And that's another thing, bro. Nobody on social media is posting their failures. At all. Like, nobody all. is doing that. So, you know, you just got to keep, hey. Keep it real. Stay, keep stay it real. in your lane, bro. Mm-hmm. Keep your head down. Keep going. And just don't get, don't give up. Fall down. Mm-hmm. Get back up. That's what, that's yeah. the name of the game, man. For sure. That's the name of the game. Now, when I was on your, uh, on your Instagram, bro, I did see you with a skateboard, right? Oh, yeah. Skateboard T. Okay. Skateboard T. Okay, okay. Like, how much you, like, is oh. that kind of equal to the music, bro? Yes, yes. Oh, so you out there like that. It's it's all intertwined, man. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. It, you know, I got it kind of, like, separated right now just yeah. so people don't get confused. But don't worry. It's all intertwined. Yeah. It's all intertwined. It's coming together. Okay, okay. So what made you get into skateboarding, bro? Like, oh, I started skateboarding when I was really young, like five or six. Oh, um, okay. I'm like, skateboarding was before everything so like i said i yeah. come from a musical family but i was always kind of like the odd one because like instead of playing basketball i was like on the skateboard on the scooter like yeah. doing crazy stuff riding down hills trying to jump over <laughs> like rocks and stuff like <laughs> oh, <laughs> hurting okay. myself so i was that kid okay so you know one day my mom was like brought me a skateboard home wouldn't like, get off of it's it. a wrap wouldn't get off of it <laughs> and it just started from there that's dope bro <laughs> Hey, you know, I had a skateboard, too, and I was little. I think I was probably, like, five, and we used to go to the hood in my granny house, like, in uh, Eastwood. We used to go up this long hill and then just sit on it and then roll down. Man, you talking about scrapes and 
Ooh, cuts and scrapes. Like, it would be bad. Would make it worse. You hurt yourself. Come home. Your mama realize. Get mad at you. Yeah, get mad at you for <laughs> hurting like, yourself. Hey, not, you're not gonna kiss my boo boo. Like, nope. what's? Go- <laughs> oh, come home. <laughs> get yelled at. Yeah, you get the. You get. Why the- aren't you being careful? <laughs> Thank God I have to take it to the hospital. <laughs> you get the get the uh the physical hurt and emotional hurt just <laughs> black culture. Yeah, that's part of growing <laughs> up, bro. You can't yeah, you can't get physically hurt without getting emotional hurt when but you, you know get what? You walk yeah. in the house. Make sure who you are. Exactly. Make it stronger, bro. So I you know what? It made me think when I was looking at the skateboard, like Lil Wayne, he liked to rap and skateboard too. You mm-hmm. think Lil Wayne was serious about his skateboarding too? Yeah, bro? yeah, of course, of course. If you yeah. like follow Lil Wayne, you know, aside from music, yeah, and look at his skateboarding. He's he's really good at skateboarding. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now you say you was five when you started, so you was probably starting before you even knew Lil Wayne ever skateboarded. Yeah, right? way before that. Way yeah, before that. I was before I knew who like skaters were. Mm. I was skateboarding because it was just what i like to do that's, i didn't really cold. even know that it was a cultural thing yeah until i got older and was like oh like everybody like it's not just like something to do it's like a you know a culture oh yeah that's yeah bro like before Lil wayne did it I, it was just like i only thought that the crazy dudes that be you know saying gnarly and oh. cow bunga and like you know <sighs> but what's crazy is it's very accepted now when yeah. i was younger like eight nine ten yeah. Oh man, I used to get laughed at by, by family members. Oh, uh, look, oh, look at Tay. He think he a little white boy because I, I had a little blonde badge. You know, I was, hey, I used to play Tony Hawk. Come home scraped up, man, yeah. ripped jeans and everything, man. Like, oh, he want to be little skateboard T. He want to be like, like for real. Oh, you trying to be for real? Oh, you think you're like, man. So I used to, you know, keep it to myself, low key, because I'm yeah. like, man, I ain't want, I ain't know how to take that, you know, growing right. up, like, oh, yeah, especially so young, uh huh. Yeah. So. I didn't know that it was accepted. You feel me? So, yeah. like, when I skated, it was kind of, like, my outlet. Right. Hey, that's cold. That's cold, bro. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, I know you mentioned Chance the Rapper. Like, can you name, like, maybe two or three more artists that kind of, you know, that you that Lil you Wayne. like? Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah. Lil for Wayne, for sure. Lil <laughs> Wayne. Lil Wayne was, up there, for mm, sure. Uh, and T.I., I'll say, like, that's, like, the starter pack. Ooh. I have I have an endless list of artists that like I, you know fuck yeah. with heavy motivate me you know give me a little bit of inspiration but like as far as like when I first started yeah Ti Lil Wayne um, Two Chains back when he was Titty Boy <laughs> yeah that's what <laughs> <laughs> yeah dang bro like you got a nice yeah that's a that's a dope top three or four bro mm-hmm. like people I think people tend to forget that. T.I. is lyrical with his raps, bro. Like, they forget that. Y'all sleep on him? Yes, bro. Oh, and can I slide in Outcast right there? Oh, yeah. Slide yeah. in, slide in, my boy 3000. Andre, shout out to him. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Big Three boy, stacks, yeah, man. That's what really. Outcast, too. Yeah. Outcast. Listening yeah. to Outcast was like. Before I knew what an outer body experience was, I was having outer body experiences <laughs> listening to Outkast. Like, bro, it's like, yeah, it's it's definitely dopamine to the highest power, bro. Like, it's just like a mind, like soul, what, man, the that soul food for your mind, bro. <laughs> Facts, bro. Yeah, people be sleep on that, man, bro. It's, whew, yeah, no idea. I be thinking like, dang, bro, like time is moving too fast. People man, just forgetting, not paying homage. Way too fast, bro. Okay, so um, real quick, man. Uh, I know you have a few songs on your Instagram. You got anything out, you know, in on uh, any certain like platform that you <clears throat> want people to check out? Yeah, please uh, check out my YouTube at Tay Swag T A Y E space dollar sign W A G. I have uh, all my music on there. SoundCloud, all my music's on there. I have a few songs on Spotify, iTunes right now. I'm in the process of moving everything from YouTube, SoundCloud over to, uh, you know, all these okay. different platforms. Yeah. But for right now, you know, search me up on YouTube. Definitely can find all my stuff there, all my music videos. I'm actually oh, about yeah. to drop a new music video here soon. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the name of the song you get ready to drop the music video to? It's called I Am with my boy 45 Eyes. Okay. And uh, so I'm at, man, I've been, I've been doing a lot recently. I just dropped another music oh. video on 420. Damn. Hippie Anthem. That one's fire. Go check that one out. Damn. Okay. Okay. 
Hippie anthem. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You've been making that throw music. Yeah, bro. Yeah, make it feel good. Make it feel good. <laughs> yeah, feel good. for sure. Hey, that's what's up, bro. I like your vibes, bro. You cool Likewise. Dude, likewise, man. man. I saw the podcast and I was like, for sure. Yep. Got to get yeah, on Yeah, bro. For sure. For sure. So you said that you got the new music video that's that you're getting ready to drop. Uh, you got the hippie vibes, right? That's the name. Hippie of anthem. It. Hippie anthem. Mm-hmm. Hippie anthem that's already out. Uh, other than YouTube, you want to tell the listeners uh, where to find you, like on social media? Yeah, uh, you can find me on Instagram at Tay in the Stars. That's T A Y E, and it's underscore. It's T A Y E underscore I N underscore T H E underscore Stars. Tay in the Stars. Right, and that stars with an S at the end. Yeah, S T A R S. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Other than that, you want to let the people know anything hey, else, man? Uh, man, it's it's been a pleasure to meet you. It's been a pleasure to be here. You know, hey, yes. y'all stay safe, stay blessed, be out there spreading positivity, spread love, man. Yes, sir. That's what we all need, man. We all need that love and positivity, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make us get further. You know what I'm saying? Get us to where we need to be. Absolutely. But man, it's been my pleasure, man, hosting, this pod- hosting the podcast, man, this interview, man. Hey, I'm looking forward to hearing some more of your music too. Yeah, bro. I'm, oh man, I'm trying to get in the studio, man. It's, oh, it's yeah. hot here, y'all. It's yeah. hot. It's hot in here, man, for yeah, real. Bro, we got to link up for sure. But that's it, man. It's Al B signing out, man. Vibe Lab on there. Peace. Peace out.